Good morning, sir. Yeah, Rupam, can you hear? <coughs> yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, today we are going to do one story. You can see the screen? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So the story is only fools go to school. Hmm? Only fools or foolish people go to school. Now, first of all, do you agree, yes or no? Do you think so? Only fools go to school? What's, no, what do you say? You don't think. What do you think? Okay, both fools and clever may go to school, right? Or those who go to school, sometimes they may be fool and sometimes they may be uh, very clever. Okay, but this is the story of a, someone who thinks that only fools will go to school. Now let us see the story. There's a new teacher in school. Sonu called to the open door. Are you coming today? So Sonu is a boy who is a friend. He is saying, uh, today we have a new teacher in school. Are you going to uh, coming today? Are you coming to school today? Uh, uh, Shreesh, I think your mic is causing a problem. Shreesh, your mic is causing a problem. Yes, yes sir, I am Sir, I There is a new teacher in school. Sonu called through the open door. The door was open and uh, you can see that the other boy is sleeping. And he is saying, are you coming today? Are you coming to school? No. Nah. Samba grunted from his cot. He is still in uh, bed. He had no plans to go to school ever. Ever, not only today, ever, means forever, he did not want to go to school. That was his plan. That was his plan. Fools, Samba mumbled and huddled deeper into the bed. Uh, what is the meaning of mumbled? Anyone knows? Mumbled. Rupa man says, do you know the meaning? Mumbled. Rupam, what is the meaning? Mumble? Mumble. Mumble means you say something, but the, what you are saying is not very clear. Hmm? You are saying, but you are not saying clearly. Right? You want to say something, but what you are saying is not very clear. And he huddled, he went deeper into the bed. Why? Because he is uh, still sleepy. Why is calling uh, him fool? Because he is going to school. He thinks that only... Fools go to school. So when the, his friend called him, he is muttering fool. But he is saying it uh, in such a way that uh, probably uh, no one can understand. In school, they repeated alphabets and tables. He thinks that every day you are doing the same thing. Alphabets and tables. Multiplication table of 2, multiplication table of 3, multiplication table of 4 and alphabets. And the teacher scolded anyone who did not sit still. Means if you cannot be quiet, the teacher scolded and they are going on repeating the same thing. So he thinks those who go to school are fools. Because you do nothing. You only read alphabets, the same alphabets again and again and the tables. Today it may be the table of 7, tomorrow the table of 9, then again the table of 13. So the same thing you are doing again and again. And... If you want to play or if you want to talk, the teacher will scold. But Samba is something opposite. He liked being outside. He always liked being outside, not uh, in bed. Sometimes he helped his father in the field. Can you tell me what was his father? What was his father's occupation? What did his father do? Farming. He was a farmer. So if I ask what was his father, you will say his father was a farmer. Most of the days he picked or stole fruit from trees. Some either he picked fruit or even stole fruit from trees. He watched birds, caught fish from streams and kept an eye on termite hills and beehives. Means he was always wandering and exploring nature. He was never in bed. He always liked to be going outside and in the open air. 
Sometimes he would be helping his father uh, in the field, his farmer father. Sometimes he would be uh, picking or stealing fruits. Sometimes he would be watching birds. Sometimes he would be catching fish. And sometimes uh, uh, keeping an eye on termite hills and beehives. But he always liked to be in nature, in the open, outside. But he was curious about the new teacher. You know what is the meaning of curious? Rupam Shrish, what is the meaning of curious? Excited to know, yeah. Excited to get some knowledge or excited to know new things. Don't say only excited. Eager. Eager, yeah, very good. Keen. You can also say keen. K-E-E-N. You have heard the word keen? Have you heard? Keen. K-E-E-N. Keen, eager, all mean the same thing. Keen or eager, but to know something. You want to know some, uh, know new things. That's called curious. So, next. He imagined the teacher getting off the local bus and walking. He is imagining. He has not seen, but just he is thinking. How could the new teacher be? He would probably get down from the bus and he would walk to school on the tarred road, the road on which he had got the black pitch, then along a muddy track that wound up down and around brambles and thorns would catch at her clothes. He is imagining that the teacher is getting down or getting off the bus or getting down the bus and walking to school. First of all, they will walk on a, a road that, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, pakka roads and then a muddy track. Then there is no pitch, there is no tar full of mud and that would be winding up and down. The uh, road is, uh, the muddy path is not straight, it is winding, it's a village. Brambles and thorns would catch at her clothes. All the wild plants would be sticking to the clothes. A snake would cross her path. He is just imagining. Probably a snake would come. The teacher would scream and run back the way she had come. Samba chuckled. Loft. Chuckled is loft. So he is imagining things. The teacher would be getting down the bus. First walking on the uh, a uh, tarred road that is a, a road with a pitch on the top, the asphalt. Then they would be uh, walking along the muddy path where they were full of thorny plants. Then she could be seeing a snake and she would scream and run back. Sambaji Bhise, Sambaji sat upright. You are going with me to school, said a woman at the door. You are going with me to the school, said a woman at the door. Then, let us see who is that. Sunita teacher led him towards the school. Now, this was another teacher. This was also a teacher. The woman who said, you are going with me. Have you had breakfast? She asked. The next thing she asked him was, did you have breakfast? Samba's stomach grumbled in response. That means his stomach was empty. He had not eaten anything. That's why at the mention of food, his stomach is grumbling. His uh, stomach is making sounds. Empty stomach. I had passed away when Samba was a baby. Baba was hardly ever at home. I is another name for mother. I is a local name for mother. So mother had passed away. What is the meaning passed away? Anyone knows? Passed away. She and uh, died. died, yeah had died, passed away, when Samba was a baby, when very young, very small, and Baba means father, was hardly ever at home. So, actually, he did not have anything to eat. Samba spotted his friend Rahim, who had also skipped school. He also liked to uh, skip school. Samba coughed sharply like a deer to warn him that the teacher was coming his way. Rahim crawled into one of the fields and hid. Otherwise, the teacher would uh, take Rahim also to school. So somehow he was hiding and the warning was given and Rahim suddenly took the warning and was hiding. Rahim mewed like a cat. Samba knew that he was saying too bad you had got caught. Means I escaped but you got caught. Otherwise uh, Samba would also have uh, not gone to school. 
he would have may, uh, skipped the school but now you are caught you have to go to school at school samba took a quick bath at the pump and then sunita teacher gave him a new uniform she handed him roti and usal from a tiffin box so he took a bath and then uh, he uh, put on the uniform and this is what we call a hand pump or tube well you know this na tube well or hand pump what is this one yes. tube well or hand pump so where he had the bath hand yeah hand pump it is also called tube well it is also called tube well tube well <coughs> so he took a quick bath and then he put on the new uniform and then had some breakfast he spotted sonu in class and went and sat next to her now first math class the children formed groups of four the teacher took out packs of playing cards from the cupboard is it the same game as yesterday teacher the children asked means the previous day they had played one game so maybe with the same playing cards and they want to know whether it is a same uh, game or not <coughs> so what you can see in the picture tell me describe the picture what you can see in the picture rupa there is sunita teacher hmm there is sunita teacher ha huh? yeah say there is sunita teacher there right are many children. there are many children There are many children, mm -hmm. and uh, and there was a blackboard. There is a blackboard, yeah. There is a blackboard. Then there was and a chart here. You can see some chart. Teacher. There is a chart. There is a cupboard. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm calling chart. The picture chart. What else is there? then you find a cupboard here yeah, cupboard here yeah, that is open then an open cupboard a a a a yeah an earthen pot and uh, two glasses that is uh, for drinking water and the teacher you can see is there are books on the table there is a teacher's table there are books now what the Okay, what is the teacher doing? What is the teacher doing? The teacher is playing cards. Teacher not playing. The teacher is distributing, giving out. The teacher is not playing. The teacher is distributing. The teacher is distributing. They have formed small groups, and the teacher is distributing the playing cards. Okay. Now. Yes, she replied. It is the same game as uh, yesterday. They asked. Yes, we need another round of practice. Samba's mouth fell open. Was this math lesson? Because they are playing. It doesn't seem to be like mathematics where you say uh, the tables, but it is playing games. Was this mathematics? Samba's mouth fell open. What do you mean? Uh, fell open? Mouth fell open. What does it indicate? Rupa message. Mouth fell open. What does it mean? What is the meaning of the word? Mouth fell open. Anyone? Confused. Confused or surprised. The teacher gave each group a pack of cards and pieces of chalk by which you can write. Samba shuffled the cards. Means mixing the cards. What is the meaning? Deftly. Anyone knows? Deftly. What is the meaning? D E. Sir, are you writing anything? No. Ah, uh, yeah, Marubam, what are you saying? Definitely. Sir, can you say this for me? And it is here. See, you can see it here. It is written here. Samba shuffled the cards definitely. Say. Yes, sir. What is the meaning? Definitely. Sir, sir, it is in Marubam. What does it mean? It's an adverb. Absolutely, L Y ending. It's an adverb. Quickly, slowly. Huh? What? What fully? Skillfully. Skillfully, not skillfully. Yeah, skillfully. Like an expert. If you know something, you are very good in it. 
deftly means skillful. Yeah. Abir, you are joining late. So, we are doing the story of uh, a person who, th a boy who thinks that only fools go to school. So, yes, we need another round of practice. So, yesterday they had the practice. Yesterday they already had one round of practice and today they are going to have a second round of practice. So, Samba's mouth fell open. Uh, Abhi, your mic, your mic is causing a lot of problem. Samba's mouth fell open. He was either confused or surprised. It was a mathematics lesson, yes, yet the teacher was distributing playing cards. And he shuffled them, mixed them, deftly means like an expert, very um, skillfully, very cleverly. He grinned. Anyone knows the meaning of grinned? Anyone knows grinning? Abir Rupam Shish grinned. That's the shiny. Huh? What? Say again. Shining. Shining. Grinned. Grin means laughing, showing the teeth. Grin means laughing or smiling, showing the teeth. Grinned means where you can see the teeth. Smiling or laughing. Not laughing loud, but only you can see the teeth without making sound. Laughing without making sound. Then Sunita teacher took the pack from him and placed it in the middle of the group. So he's, uh, first she gave the pack to him because he was very good in shuffling and then took the pack from uh, him and put it in the middle. Now next what the teacher will do. Each of you will pick a card and write the number you see on the floor. What they have to do? They have to pick one card from the... Abir, your mic is causing a lot of problem. Abir? Abir? Hello, sir. Your mic is causing too much noise. Hello, sir. Your mic is causing unnecessary noise. Either load or um, just uh, put your volume down. Lower your volume. It is causing like uh, some storm eyelids coming. So each of you, the teacher's instruction was, each of you will pick a card and write the number you see on the floor. How they will write on the floor? Anyone? How they will write on the floor? They can't you be using pencil? Chalk. They, yeah. In the previously we have seen that the teacher chalk. gave them a piece of chalk. So with that piece of chalk, they have to write the number. Means if you get 10, you have to write 10. If you write, get 5, then you have to write 5. Then pick the next card and add that number to the previous one. So, actually they are teaching addition. First, you pick one card. It may be any number from uh, a 9, 5, 7. Then you pick the next card and then you add. Whoever reaches the sum of 200 first is the winner. First, you have to get 200. The total should be 200. The card will not be 200. The total should be first 9, then 10, then 7, then 5. Like that you are going and the total, the sum, total should be 200. But as each of you adds, the rest must check if the sum is correct. Because you are writing on the floor, everyone can see. So you have to add and also see another uh, group whether they are doing it correctly or not. No cheating. Samba made mistakes. But he was good at catching others' mistakes. Although he himself made mistakes, but he was very good in catching Others' mistakes. He even caught clever Vanita cheating. Even the most uh, clever students, he was very good in catching them. So, what, what is the work? You have to pick one by one card, write the number and add it. Right? First you pick nine. You write nine. Next you pick five. Write five and add fourteen. Then you pick six. Then add six. Fourteen plus six, twenty. Then you pick uh, 5. Then you add 20 plus 5, 25. This is how you have to reach the target total 200. But you have to add correctly. Only fools go. Samba mumbled the next day as he turned over on his cot. Vanita, Raghu, Sonu and others were talking to 
were walking to school. All the other children are walking to school, but some by saying only fools go to school. Sonu and others were walking to school. Samba squinted at the sunlight. You know squinted? Anyone know squinted? Abir, Rupam, Shish, anyone knows the meaning of squinted? Do you know the meaning of squinted? I see the way it is only here. The screen is presented before you. When I am reading, follow it. You can see the screen. When I am reading, follow it. It is squinted there. Only fools go, Samba mumbled. I already told you, mumble means say. One minute. I already told you, what is the meaning of mumbled? You say so that uh, no one understands. And he turned over on his cot. That means he's in bed. Vanita, Raghu, Sonu, these and others, they are walking to school. Samba squinted at the sunlight. What is the meaning? Squinted. Don't ask where it is. When I am reading, see where it is. Follow each line. Sir, sir it is to look something with no. his eyes or not closed. Look at something, not look something. Look at something yeah, with the eyes partly closed. Why the eyes partly closed? Because the sun is too bright. Because you can't look at the sun directly. The sun is very bright, so your eyes are partly closed. You are squinted and guessed it was time for Sunita teacher to come and fetch him. Better hide in the fields. And he was guessing that Sunita teacher might come and uh, take him from home. So it is better to hide in, uh, hide somewhere. Under the jamun tree, the long drawn whistle, the long drawn whistle of a thrush made him look up. So actually he was under a jamun tree, jamun fruit. And he heard a long whistle and actually it was, uh, the sound was as if uh, it was made by a thrush. You know thrush? Thrush is a bird. Thrush is a bird, the name of a bird. So it was a whistling by a bird. It, at least it uh, seemed to him. He thought that was a whistling of a bird. Long whistle. And he looked up. It was Rahim. He was also hiding. So it was not Thrush, it was Rahim who was hiding. Samba climbed up and sat on a branch next to his. First he was hiding uh, under the tree, actually. First he was standing under the tree, but when he saw Rahim on the branch, he climbed up and sat on a branch next to him. So both are sitting side by side on the tree. I need to watch out for the teacher, he told Rahim. Which teacher? Anyone knows? I need to watch out for that teacher. Which teacher? Huh? Which teacher? Yeah, what is that? What is that previous teacher? Sunita teacher. Sunita teacher. He kept watching the schoolyard and couldn't help wondering what they might be doing in class. An aeroplane flew overhead. An aeroplane is flying over their heads. Its wings flashed in the noonday sun. I want to learn to fly an aeroplane, Rahim said. If a teacher could teach me that, I would go to school. But only fools, Samba began, go to school. Rahim finished with a grin. Now he is saying that if someone teaches flying, then he would go to school. He is not interested in adding and subtracting and multiplying. He is not interested in alphabet. Only if someone will teach him how to fly an aeroplane, then he would go to school. But only fools, Samba began, go to school, Rahim finished. So, still they are thinking, only fools go to school because they don't teach uh, interesting things. They don't teach how to fly an aeroplane or how to uh, drive a car. They are teaching all the tables and alphabet, which is, for them, it's not interesting. The next day, Samba found himself at the school gate. Now, one day he skipped school. The next day, that day he did not go to school because he was uh, hiding in the jamun tree, uh, on the branches of a jamun tree. Next day, he found himself at the school gate. He lined up for lunch with others. It was a school which uh, provided lunch. So, he also lined up for lunch. After lunch, everyone played catch and hide and seek in the yard. Suddenly from far and someone cried, snake, snake. 
Samba got there first. Naniti, he said, naming it. That is a, the local name for the type of snake. A striped keelback. So he saw the snake. You can also see snake. You can also see the snake, and he also knew the name of the snake because he was interested in uh, all open uh, nature. He always used to wander here and there, so he knew the name of the snake. Sunita teacher pushed her way through the crowd. Careful, she warned. Her eyes never leaving the snake. She asked the children to be careful, and she pushed her way through the crowd. Her hands trembled a little. It's not venomous, Samba said. What is the meaning venomous? Anyone knows? What is venomous? Anyone? It is not poisonous. Poisonous. Venom is another name for poison. Venom is another name for poison. So venomous means poisonous. Venom means poison. Snake venom. Snake venom is snake poison. And uh, here venomous. Poisonous. It's not venomous, Samba said. He lifted the snake off the stem and held it easily. The other children crowded close. It's the longest nanity I've ever seen. It's only half a foot long. So he knows that the snake is not venomous, so he can hold it in his hand. Can we measure it in maths class? Samba asked. If you are certain, it is safe. The teacher said if you are sure that it is safe, uh, it's not uh, dangerous, then you can do it. So the teacher said that if you are sure it is safe, means it is not poisonous, then you can take it to classroom. He held the snake's head away from her. See, you can see the snake's head is in another direction. She put a finger very carefully on its back. She trusted Samba. She knew that Samba could never be wrong. We will hold a thread or a rope along its length, she said, her voice sure now. You can't measure with a scale. First, you have to put a thread. Why? Anyone knows? Why you are measuring with a thread and not with a scale? Anybody can say? Why you are measuring using a thread and not a scale? Anybody? Normally, you measure with a uh, scale, right? A ruler. Huh? What are you saying? The scale is small. No, the scale is small. That is one reason. But there is another reason. The snake is not straight. You can see that it is bent and curved. It is very difficult to have the snake very straight. So, straight things you can measure with a scale. But if something is not straight, then you use a thread. And afterwards, the thread you can measure with a scale. Do you find the snake uh, in a straight line? Here? Yeah? See the picture? Is a snake, then how would you, you can't measure with a scale. So, you are measuring with a thread. The thread you can put exactly along the snake's back till the tail. Even if it is curved or bent, you can put the uh, thread all along the back till the tail, the tip of the tail. And then take out the thread and measure it uh, on a scale. So, we will hold a thread or a rope along its length. As Samba carried the snake in the school building, Sonu suggested, let's keep in the box that we keep our flashcards in. There, they had that flashcards. Let's keep the snake there. We can make holes in the lid for it to breathe. Small holes so that uh, the snake can breathe. And let it go when the lesson gets over, the teacher said. So keep it till the mathematics class. And when you have measured it, then you can uh, let it go. Can we also measure a uh, ghor pad? Samba asked. He knew where monitor lizards sunned themselves. It is a lizard. That is a local name, ghor pad. It is a summer lizard. Can't we just measure Ramu's tail? Raghu suggested with a sigh. The school pet had come to see why everyone was excited over a box. So he was also trying to measure the dog's tail. Now they are getting interesting. First snake, then the lizard, now the dog. So let us measure that. We will measure anything that isn't dangerous to us. So she said, yes, you can measure provided it is not dangerous. How about a grasshopper? A calf? Now, students are suggesting different things. First, they had the snake 
and once they got the idea of measuring now they want to measure the lizard they want to measure the um, a dog they want to measure a grasshopper everything they want to measure then somebody remember teacher Rahim knows all about animals but not about how to measure them he should come to school he said Rahim is a boy who was hiding that jamun tree he knows everything about animals but he does not know how to measure he should come to school so that he could someday fly an aeroplane Rahim will never come Vanita scoffed he says that only fools go to school. Go bring your friend, the teacher said. His eyes shining, Samba ran off to find Rahim. So go and bring your friend. So there is a story. Now what exactly you find in the story, tell me. There is something special you find in the story. What is that? Anything else? Samba is only the right cat. Only fool is going to school because Samba was also a little bit of fool. But he, he only knows all about the snake. No, the, okay. Anything else? Anything else? Any other thing? Yeah, that's one thing. Anything else? He, he, he hides the, he, he the tree. He hid behind the tree, not hiding. He hid behind the tree uh, to uh, uh, skip school. He hid behind the tree. Now, I'm asking that what in the story is one special thing is there you're finding in the story? What is that? One very special thing you're finding in the story. You find that at first... Not snake. Not snake. At first... Those who were not interested, now they are getting interested in school. At first they were not interested. Why they were not interested? Because the teaching was uh, not interesting. They were boring. Only alphabet, tables. Now they got interesting things. First they got uh, the uh, cards to add. Now they are getting snakes to measure. Then they are getting new ideas. You can measure the lizard. You can measure a grasshopper. When they get new ideas, then school becomes interesting at first the school was boring but now the teacher had made her school interesting because she has changed the way of teaching she is not teaching 7 into 1 equal to 7 7 into 2 equal to 14 7 into 3 equal to 21 it's no longer boring because you are doing exciting things you are not just learning uh, you are not just um, uh, having books you are doing things it's not the question of reading anymore. It's a question of active activity. You are doing something actively. You are going, catching the snake, catching the lizard. You are measuring the length. You are using the scale. Then you are using, putting it in the box with holes. And then after the class is over, you are letting them go. So when you get new and exciting things, and also you do something, it's not that you are reading. Just books will not help you. You are doing something actively activity when there is an activity then it becomes interesting so at first they said only fools go to school why because they thought that school was boring same alphabets same uh, tables in mathematics they were always learning tables and uh, or they were opening the books and adding the numbers. Not like this, picking a card and then adding the numbers. They were always, what they were doing? And they were doing a singly, my alone. Say so 10 students are there, all the students would open their book and add the numbers. But now what they are doing? They are having the playing cards. So new numbers come up and they are adding and they are adding it on the floor. Everyone can see. Now also they are measuring, measuring a snake's measuring a lizard, measuring the dog's tail, measuring a grasshopper. So new activity makes school interesting. So now I want uh, Rohan, tell the story a little bit. You don't, even if you don't remember the name, it uh, it's okay. Uh, whatever I remember, say the first two, three, four lines. Yeah, say. Yes, there was a book. Yeah, say. And, and his mother was passed away. 
mother had passed away. Hmm. His mother had passed away when he and, was a baby. Hmm. And yeah, his father was there. His father was there, but his father uh, did not have much time for him. He was hardly at home because he was a busy farmer. Then. And yeah, he had a friend. He had a friend, okay. Called Rani. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, very good then. And and uh, they they did not want to go school because they think uh, that who is go to school. They did not want to go school, and they did not want to go to school. They did not want to go to school, or they did not like going to school because they thought only fools go to school. Okay, Shish, continue after that. Shish, continue after that. Shish, continue the story. A few more lines. Say one day what happened. Shish, you are there. Yes, sir. Ha. Say, continue the story after what Rupam has said. Rupam has said a few lines. Now say a few more lines. Say, can I tell from the beginning? No, no. Say after that. You know, he has already said that. Say um, something next. What is that? Say, from where had he had he stopped? You are not listening to him. When he was saying, when he was saying the story, you did not listen. You you are not hearing. Sir, on the last it was cutting. Okay, my my yeah, yes, my. Rubam, say the last yes, sentence sir. again. Say the last sentence again. Rubam, yes, sir. Sir, say the last, last sentence, sentence again. Was was that they thought? Uh, only fools, fools, go, to fools school, yeah. go to school. Okay. Only fool, not fools only. Only fools go to school. Yeah, next. Shish, now you can continue. Shish, continue Say, after that. One, then Sonu came in in Sambhu's open open door and told and told Sambhu about their new teacher and they told him about the new Sambhu. teacher sonu said sonu told sambhu that he would like to go to school today but sambhu uh, uh, not said asked one minute one message uh, not uh, said asked he asked him whether he would go to school hmm? he asked him whether he would go to school then continue Sonu asked Sambhu whether he would go to school. Hmm. Or whether he was coming to school. Hmm. Only fools go to school no, and he is... Only, only fools go to school and he is not a fool. Okay, so he slept. And then what happened? Then, uh, then he... Uh, he heard about fine multiplication and tables. Mm -hmm. he, he was not like anything else. He was there. He was very. Uh, he was. Uh, he was very happy in the outside and wanted. And yeah, he wanted to roam Martin, outside, like he wanted to catch fish. He wanted to catch fish or watch the beehives and ant hills or pick fruits. He wanted to be, but he was active, not sleeping like so. No, he was active. Okay, next. I mean, next, uh, you want to say something? I mean, next part of the story. Now, tell me what happened in school on the first day. What happened in school on the first day? I mean, can you hear? What happened in the school on the first day? Yeah, tell me. First day, that is a card, not the snake. Snake is the second day, the card. What happened in the school on the first day? No, no, I'm saying in school what happened. That aeroplane is okay. Yeah, he saw the aeroplane and he wanted to fly the aeroplane. But uh, what happened in, in the school that day? What happened in school that day? First day, what happened? 
what did the te what was the teacher doing what task did the teacher set the first day in school mathematics yeah mathematics how yeah very good mathematics how did she teach she did not write anything on the board and ask them to do it then how did she teach reading huh? reading where do you get reading where did you find reading the books she distributed playing cards and asked them to pick one card write down the number pick the next card and then again write down and add again pick out the pick up the next card add the number and go on adding uh, when until they reach 200 they had to pick up cards yeah, playing cards yeah. write the numbers on the floor with a piece of chalk and then add this is what you'll say the students had to pick up uh, one uh, one by cards one by one the student would pick up card one by one write the numbers on the floor and add them until they got 200 now see what happened on the second day what happened on the second day see yeah. एरोप्लेन व Up their heads, flying not up their heads, over their heads, over their heads, not up their heads. They saw an aeroplane flying over their heads. Okay, continue. Then an aeroplane, an aeroplane, not a aeroplane, an a n n an aeroplane over their heads. Hmm. Then said to sambu not said sambu what man said to sambu don't say said sambu said to sambu that he would go to school if they uh, yeah if they uh, the school would teach them how to fly aeroplanes then what am i next he Again, a aeroplane. One minute, Shreesh. One minute. One minute. Again, you are saying a aeroplane. An aeroplane. An aeroplane. A and an. Every time you are saying a aeroplane, it is an aeroplane. What would you say? An aeroplane. An elephant. An. Aer okay. Then next. Next. What happened? Okay. Abhi continue. What did they see? Uh, उंड and hide and seek hmm and uh, in the past he suddenly uh, someone was crying someone was shouting and snake shouting snake yeah someone saw a snake and then what happened and the someone goes to ghost first he went there first and, and saw that it was yeah see He went there and saw that it was a non-poisonous snake. Okay, Abhi, one one minute. Abhi, continue about the snake. Continue about the snake. Abhi, continue about the snake. What did they do with the snake? Continue with the snake. They saw a snake. Then what happened? They saw a snake. What happened after that? Is a snake. Hmm. She speaks to the snake in a hand. Uh, what in her hand? Uh, 
hand. No, no. What did you say? My, she picked it up and why didn't they take it inside the classroom? Yeah, see. Why didn't they take the snake inside the classroom? Why did they take the snake into the classroom? Why? They wanted to do something. Yeah, it is interesting, but what did they want to do with the snake? They are not going to kill the snake. What did they want to do with the snake? Tie the snake. Huh? What they want to do? See? What did they want to do with the snake? They were taking the snake inside the classroom. What did they want to do with the snake? I scared him. He mapping the size. Yeah, they wanted to measure its length. They wanted to measure its length. Right? Measure its length. They, yeah. Someone suggested that they could measure the length, how long the uh, snake was. They wanted to measure the length and they took it inside. And next. Yes. Uh, why it was... Okay, I'll ask you a question because... Why it was safe? Why do you think taking the snake was safe? Snake was safe. Why? Yes. Why do you think the snake is safe? Is the snake safe or dangerous? Why is the snake safe? Abhi, why do you think the snake... It was, you say? Huh, it was? No, it was not poisonous. It was a non-poisonous snake or non-venomous snake. So, it was poison. They took it inside. Okay, tomorrow I will ask you more questions on this. Okay? Tomorrow I'll be asking you more questions on this and um, Abir, join on time. Don't be late. Okay.